looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over the brand new Ultimate Legends in Madden 21 Ultimate Team, guys. Now, Ultimate Legend drops I actually haven't been around for a single one. I was on vacation for the first two drops. This is my first Ultimate Legend weekend that I get to actually thoroughly go over and check out for you guys. So I'm super excited, guys. Now, Ultimate Legends, first off, Black History Month. I believe that promo is concluded as of yesterday. So remember that. Just keep that in mind. So no more no more Black History Month. We do have uh, the All Rookie promo that just came out. Now, I don't know if there'll be more to that, if they will like to expand on that with more LTDs. I hope they do because the Edger and James LTD was kind of crazy. So getting an extension on that would be super awesome and clutch for a lot of you guys myself included now before we get into today's video if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell come join the family boys remember liking and commenting helps out a ton so if you could so kindly like the video and as always comment down below you know what's going on let me know what you guys think and of course smash the like button now let's head on over to the ultimate legends but we do have some packs sitting here from what i can see i believe my mutt rewards is here all pro tier so let's open that up because of course i didn't get them yesterday that might take a while to come in so I ended up opening up something else for a different pack. Now, I did just get a Javon. I thought I got something higher than that. I was like, did I open the right pack? Mutt rewards, Mutt rewards, all pro tiers. So we have an all pro fantasy pack and an all rookie pack. And start with the all pro fantasy pack. I do enjoy opening fantasy packs. So let's see what the first card. We got a gold. Nothing too great there. Another gold. We got golf. Bobby. We got a rookie. Marquise Bailey. Marcus Bailey. We got Jordan Phillips. And we get an elite at the end here, actually. So Dante Jackson. We have to take all. I wish we were to take all of them. All right, so we get a low elite right here, 80 Matthew Stafford. Another low elite right here, 81 Jarvis Landry. We get a, let's see what this is, 81 Robert Tanyan. I can never tell if that was a high or a low animation. Another low elite. We get Ali Marpet, and we get a Rick. Wow, that, that Patrick Queen. That that pack was bad. I guess we'll take Ali Marpet and uh, Robert Tanyan. At least we still have the all rookie fan. Oh, the all rookie pack. It's not a fantasy pack, though. I do enjoy fantasy packs. I like to be able to pick and, you know, kind of play with it a little bit. Kind of like a little mini game. All rookie pack. We got Trey Herndon. Let's see. We get a, a pretty good elite right there. Javon Kinlaw, 92 overall. Okay, that's actually not bad. That is not a bad. Ooh, Everson Griffin as well. Team of the week. 85 Taysom Hill. Another elite right here. 80 Justin Reed. Okay. This was a good pack. That was a pretty good pack. I mean, I don't know how many coins I'll amount to, but it's not, it's not bad, right? That, that wasn't bad at all. But that's about it for that, guys. Let's head on over to the Ultimate Legend sets. Let's check them out. Make sure they're in game. And then from there, we will go on ahead and actually go over the players. So we have Marvin Harrison, I believe, is one of the new ones. Rodney uh, Rodney Harrison. Now, the issue is here. Oh, and we have an LTD. Okay, I was going to say, where was the third one? So, Marvin and Rodney, you guys already know how the sets work. You're going to need uh, 95s, a bunch of 91s, a bunch of 87s. Very simple. Let's go check out if they are on the block. As you guys know, this stuff usually does take a little bit. So, don't get your hopes up that things are up right away. Although, at least with Ultimate Legends, you know, like, that stuff gets pulled pretty quickly. People make the sets regardless of the cost pretty quickly. The real issue usually, usually is going to be um, LTDs, which can take quite a bit of time if we do uh, actually end up waiting for them. Let's go by this. Let's sort by newest. Let's see if we can find any. Yeah, it's going to it's gonna take a while. But um, they, they are super cool. Now, I don't know in terms of, uh, like, the, for the LTD, like I said, if they'll get pulled quickly, how that's going to run. It could take a while. I believe it's Stan Marino, who's our LTD, if you guys did not know already. We're going to keep checking this out, though, so we'll be right back. Yeah, so, surprisingly, Dan Marino is actually up on the block. The LTD is up on the block before the set ones, which is kind of surprising, which I guess if people are lucky, it is the quickest thing to get, right? Because you just pull it and put it on the block. Versus the other ones, you have to pull the set pieces first. Some people don't always pull the full one. And you got to go you make them, right? Because it's typically the first ones on the block. But still, nonetheless, getting an LTD on the block before everyone else is kind of, kind of unlikely. But... We got Dan Marino up, so let's check out his stats, guys. 97 overall field general quarterback. If you do have a power pass, you can go ahead and get him, you know, as soon as now if you have his power, powered up the uh, legend and everything already. But he's a field general, so that is good. He's probably going to be the best quarterback in the game from a quarterback standpoint. Now, he won't be mobile at all, not in the slightest, but he will get all the abilities that you need him to get, considering powered up and chemed up all, well, pretty much powered up all of his throwing stats are above a 96 from what I can get here, 96 and above. But he will have 99 throw power. He will have 99 throw short, 99 throw medium, 97 throw deep. Probably 99 throw under pressure. And he will have a high play action as well. Even a decent throw on the run, which is kind of surprising considering. In terms of mobile, 
it's it is what it is with him you guys know what you're getting with him now not a lot of people this year actually prefer a pocket passer but the meta this year has been a pocket passer with some mobility within the 80s you know low 90s high 80s mid mid 80s Denver is not gonna be that guy now he has a throw on the run now i don't advise that you guys actually attempt to throw on the run with him you won't get very far all you're gonna do is probably lower your accuracy and maybe even result in the sack if you know if the because some, sometimes when you start to scramble the ends just really get off the uh the blocker sometimes so I would be I would be careful with that uh, in terms of other stats 95 awareness that's good too I don't know if that play I believe awareness plays into a few things in terms of uh, some stats and stuff but I'm not entirely sure 96 stamina not that it really matters for a non-running quarterback change of direction doesn't matter as well he has a alien 80 break sack which actually does matter a little bit although here's the thing break sack isn't is cool to have but sometimes break sacks actually make a play worse sometimes taking the sack right off the snap for a, you know a five yard loss six yard seven yard eight yard loss is better than breaking the sack because sometimes you break that sack and you and by the way the break sack animation is so slow that by the time you break it someone else is there and that usually it usually results in a fumble no joke almost every time i break a sack i get either i lose more yards because i get up and they like stumble back up and then i take an additional five yard loss or i just fumble or it allows me to try or i'm a guy's coming in and i try to force a pass out of there so i can save my ass real quick and actually all it ends up doing is throwing a bad pass because i'm so under pressure and i'm falling over that it throws a bad pass i throw a pick so instead of taking a four yard sack or five yard eight yard like i said i end up throwing a pick fumbling um depending on the mode you're in getting hurt too right if you're in franchise break sack is never really it, sometimes it hurts more but it, it would be nice to have i guess just in terms of like a 97 overall card but it, it may be it may be beneficial but yeah that's dan marino dan marino's pretty good though he's gonna get all the abilities that you want he's not gonna get any like you know running-esque abilities but like i said that's not the way they really people really play this year so enjoy dan marino he's gonna be a beast in terms of just passing he's probably gonna be the best he's gonna he, well, he is the best pre, uh, pure passer in the game uh, i mean maybe tom brady can compete a little bit but i don't really think so dan marino usually plays pretty good too Next, we got Rodney Harrison, one of the other new guys. Strong safety for the New England Patriots. Now, it is cool, guys. They do say his career stats, I'm pretty sure, on the bottom. So, you can read those. You can't see what my face cam there. But when you're on the game, you'll, you'll be able to see everything. Rodney Harrison, only 94 speed. Now, that does hurt a little bit considering the point we're at in this game. We kind of want everything to be at least base 95, power to 96 at minimum. But he's only going to get a 95 speed total. But he does have 94 speed starting. 94 excel, 96 tackle, 96 play rec, 97 pursuit, 86 man. 97 zone 96 hit power so that, that's that's not bad 80 strength 92 agility 77 catching is actually pretty decent for a rodney harrison card 91 jumping a little bit low 90 change of direction is good not great 86 impact blocking what is his block shit i do want to see that real quick block oh, 85 block shit okay because yeah he's a run support corner i'm i know for from history that he's pretty good in the run uh the run game finesse moves a 70 actually not horrible 75 press a little bit low although you know it's not the way he's built but let's see, powered up and chemmed up, Rodney Harrison will get 99 uh, zone, will get 97 hit power. His man will only get into the 90s, so he's not going to be a man a man safety at all. He's going to be a 99 zone guy at least. Uh, he will get close to 99 pursuit. Let's sprint and everything, get him up to 97 speed, which is still good. But, you know, we would have hoped for at least one, one bump up to get him to that 98, maybe, maybe that 99 at a 96. But he's still going to be really, really good nonetheless. Of course, there are some corners that, I mean, some safeties that get the 99 man, the 99 zone, and they have similar, if not the, a better speed. You know what I mean? Like, you don't really have to go Rodney Harrison. I wouldn't say he's a meta must-have card. He's good. But we've had a few other guys that fit that uh, that similar description, if you know what I mean. And then next, guys, let's find the final guy, which is Marvin Harrison, which actually looked like a pretty good card. Uh, his speed's 96, so he does get 97 speed, which is good because that means he will get 99. So 99 speed wide receiver, again, going to be great because you can get sprinter on him. Um, so pretty much now he comes down. Now, once you have a receiver at 99, right, which is like kind of the deal with Tyreek Hills and stuff and like when you get later in the year, you got to focus on the intangible. Like what can you do after the catch? Acceleration. So we're going to look at all that. Jumping's going to be a 90 powered up. He has 96 catching, which will get up a little bit. 92 catch in traffic, 94 spec. 96, 96, 96 across the board for route running. So his route running will reach 99 in at least two of the three categories if you go with play fake. Now, the thing with this is here, here's what's going to matter for this Marvin Harrison card, and that's simply going to be what he can do, uh, you know, besides speed. So, route running, going to reach 99, so that's, that's going to be great. Catching's a little bit on the lower side, but he is threshold, so, I mean, you know how this Madden works. I mean, I'm not going to knock it, but I would have liked to see, uh, I've seen a little bit better catch in traffic. Now, coming on down to the after the catch, agility will be a 96 powered from chemmed up. That's great. Acceleration will actually get to a 98. Now, I don't forget, I forget what sprinter if he gets any. I think he actually may lose one and then gain one. So I, I don't think, I think kind of equate, you know, equals out. He's going to end up between a 97 and a 99 Excel. So that's great. 
awareness 98 great uh jumping's a little bit low stamina actually will get up to 98 which is great as well especially for a wide receiver if you throw to him a lot 90 carrying that's important too you know for big hits he's not exactly the you know has the biggest frame 93 change of direction could have liked that a little bit higher but that's not horrible would be a 94 his juke moves a 95 powered up and chemmed up so again not bad uh that's good as well and then let's see what else he has break tackle only an 83 would have liked to have seen that close to the 90 range but overall, the, the card's good. The card's great. Probably top three receiver in the game. Maybe the best receiver in the game. Because he gets that. He, get, he gets 99 speed, right? Even if there's a receiver with a 97 speed, Marvin Harrison will also get to 99 as well as 97. So, similar. At the end of the day, now you're focusing on other stats once they get to that 99 speed threshold. But this card's great, guys. So, those are the ultimate legends for today. We have Dan Marino, Rodney Harrison, and we do have um, Marvin Harrison. Two Harrisons today. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know how you rank them. For my, my personal rankings, last Rodney Harrison, um, number two, Dan Marino, and number one, Marvin Harrison. Marvin Harrison's going to be meta. Dan Marino can be meta. Maybe not really. He can't really be meta, but he, he's a great quarterback. And then in my opinion, Rodney Harrison, there's just there's better safeties that uh, for what we're, you know, what this year is built upon. But yeah, that's overall it. So like, like, let me know down below. If you, if you like the video, let me know down below. What are your rankings for your time? Who's the best Ultimate Legend drop this weekend? And that's about it. If you guys need coins, head over to my reserve down below and use code Poodle. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.